start recording it too. Uh oh. It's an ASMR too. <laughs> Aquí mira. Mm -hmm. That's where you can leave the comment. Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah. So At for face masks DM at um, more what? A M A M A A M A T O R Y M A T O R Y Affairs. I see yeah. on on Instagram. Mm -hmm. On in el Insta, sas. All right, there. That's that's what we got ours from. I'm on the mask, Chingo. Good looking. Yeah, Hector. Um, uh, people, you know, con el chisme, way. Some people are like, no, que me dijo la prima que, que es enfermera allá en CBS y que, que le dijo al compare, el compare Homero le platicó al don quién sabe quién. And next thing you know, it's like, masks don't work. And it's like, what? Who said that? Who said masks don't work? It's like, no, they said don't hoard them because doctors need them. Of course they work because we need them for the doctors and the nurses. Shout out to them. They're on the front also, line. Also, though, tell them, though. That mm. doctors are used to being able to trash them, and so, right now, mm -hmm. with everything happening, so basically, some people theorize that that you should be able to take uh, a mask and disinfect it. I'm talking about the legit ones from the hospital, and basically use them more than once. If you, uh, they theorize that if I'm not telling y'all to do this, but. The idea is that there has to be a way that they can set it aside for X amount of days after they... Obviously, you don't want to spray it with a bunch of stuff because they might start breaking down the filter. But doing something that allows whatever might be on there to die and make it new and usable again, basically, after X amount of days so that it's fresh and clean and new again. But... The communication gets lost because uh, doctors and nurses, they're used to uh, just disposing of them because the, t the time of the doctor is so valuable. And in, and in normal times, the uh, cost of a mask is like relatively low. So you wouldn't want to even take the chance on a cheap mask. Right now, the value of the mask has gone up. So because of supply and all that crap. There has to be a way they can reuse. Anyway, what I'm telling y'all is mass work. Don't let nobody tell you that they don't. And don't let nobody tell you that, oh, they overreacted. No, you have to stay your ass at the house. That's the order. They need your chicharrones. <laughs> somebody, somebody said they can't contain us all. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my son has a prediction. Marisol believes, and I kind of, I think she might be right. She thinks that for economic purposes and for the, for the um, greater good of the, of the overall, of the of overall, whatever, that they're, your theory is that they're going to do, they're going to grant, amnesty, grant amnesty to a bunch of, you know, I guess undocumented, resident, alien, maybe DACA people, I don't know, basically say, hey, you guys can stay. Y'all are citizens. Because, am I putting words in your mouth? You want to explain it? I thought her prediction was genius because this is how I looked at it. I said, I think you might be right. Number one, because when Ronald Reagan did amnesty, when my parents got their citizenship, and a lot of your family, right? Yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, it was around the same time. Reagan, at the time, the reason, my, according to my dad, right? The reason he did it, it was like an economic decision because... They needed a labor pool. They needed a labor source. So that was like the trade-off. And for economic purposes, they decided it's better to just grant amnesty to all these people who it's almost like, they're like, yeah, yeah, we know. Like, we kind of didn't want illegal. We didn't want open borders, but we need a labor force. So my parents benefited. They became citizens uh, when Ronald Reagan did it. And Marisol's theory, I think she might be right because you can't have immigrants being scared to go to the hospital. You can't have immigrants being scared to dial 911 and ask for help because that creates a, a public health issue where in times of 
like this, when you're dealing with a virus, you don't want people out there being infected, scared to get a test. Porque me van a deportar y me van a poner and then like the construction workers, I'm not saying every construction worker mm. is uh, is illegal, but I'm saying the ones that... No. <laughs> what? Yeah, there are a lot aren't. I know, that's what I'm saying. The ones that are, if they were to get infected from someone who's at work with them, because I'm sorry, we've driven... When we've driven or jogged, that ain't six feet, brother. Uh, jogged, there's no six feet. I'm sorry. Some I want to even tell them, like, hey, uh, you're y'all, supposed y'all to, be to be six, six feet. feet. <laughs> why are y'all that close? Hey, we're going to drive up and check them. That's how we're going to do I'm just saying. I'm going to be like this. Like, Jacob saying, Valentina or Tam. What is that? Tapatio. Tampico. Uh, Valentina. Fat. Oh, what was I saying? Oh, we're gonna, this time we're going to pull up on the people we see a little bit too close. Like, hey, what's up, Vato? What's up, homie? Last time I checked, that ain't eight feet, dog. They're like, mm-hmm. CDC said six. Hey, homie, this ain't no CDC, Vato. My, this is uh, Puro Vato Vegan, homie. Hey, nah. <laughs> my cousin said that the majority of people are ordering, ordering excuse me, bandana pattern uh, yeah, masks. Yeah, she has a red one and a blue one. That, so she has red right. and blue. It just says those, those are like are her, her top big sellers. top sellers right now. Most people are buying those. So. Hey, well, I think, I mean, I think it's it's very helpful and it's genius. I think it's fashionable. I think it's very important to communicate to people like the idea of wearing a mask. Y'all made fun of Michael Jackson for wearing a mask. Y'all made fun of Asian people for wearing a mask. Now, culturally, we have to change our, our way of thinking because you need a mask. So right now, I think people are still like, ah, yeah, I don't know. I don't think that I don't know what to believe. I ain't got one. Where do I get one? Well, let me tell you something. I went to um, Target. Mask off. When was it? El otro día. The other day, whatever day was it, doesn't matter. Dije, Vieja, don't forget the chicharrones, and I love you. And don't touch nothing, don't breathe nothing. So I went to Target. And you had, you had I wore my sister's like fishing, I guess, shield that you wear. So it was all the way up to here. I had gloves on. I had sanitizing wipes. And so I was sanitizing my cart. And I was wearing gloves. And I was wearing a mask. And I swear to you, every time someone walked near me, they were like this. <laughs> they hey. were like, no. Hey, you ever see the, them dudes on like Gangland or them shows sometimes where they be sneaking oh, yeah, and shit? Oh, yeah, yeah. And they be on there like, yeah, homie. Hey. Hey, Matia, Matia Toña was bringing in all the masa, fool. She had a firme connect. <laughs> yeah, she brought in all the masa. Yeah, she had pork. She had the pork area. She was, they was over here making chiles and shit. Um, but anyway, there was a bunch of people at Target. I only went because I needed diapers. But Penny's about to, what was the info for the masks again? Are, 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 hold on, hold on. Are you selling masks, Chingo? No, I'm not selling masks. Jose Lara, you little judgmental prick. All right, here we go. Um, where's the part I was just reading? Um, look, Louis Cruz says, wearing a mask ain't going to help you. Should I block you now or should I block you later? <laughs> should I block you now? Or should you, you the type of one to be sitting in, oh, why did you... How did I catch? Like, them people licking... Go lick a toilet seat then, bro. Because, I mean, damn. That's like saying... Uh, like, like say it was it was, a, it was a shootout happening. Somebody gives you a bulletproof vest. like, And a helmet. It's like, man, they're just going to shoot me in the neck anyway. Bitch, put on the vest. Wear your protection. My parents from Mexico came here and got their documents, their residence. You selling the mask? You're going to know. Uh... They're talking about your bun. <laughs> they say you fixed your bun. I did, because I was looking crazy, y'all. Now, this person has, a, I guess, a theory. He said it's man-made. Look into it. Conspiracy. I heard some fools are compelling arguments with facts, homie. No crazy stories. America has a patent. Let me know if you know something. <laughs> Calmate. Bro, I couldn't have her crunching in my ear like that. <laughs> We were crunching each other's ears, guys, because he was crunching over here, too. Who was crunching first, though? You. Trouble game strong. I know. Eat him up, man. I know I'm looking crazy right now. Somebody said we still a power couple, though, even though we bumming out. About to do lunch. Man, y'all, I'm really stressed out about my eyelashes, though. I really, if you are an eyelash person who installs eyelashes, give me some tips on 
what I'm gonna do about my eyelashes. Yeah, somebody. And said, look at this. These nails. Who, what? Na who, look at this. These are like boy hands, bro. Mm -hmm. Stressed. If this was edited, we'd like edit, uh, zoom in on the nail. Like, ding, 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 ding. Mm. Kansas City before yeah. the quarantine. Uh, Thomas Pacheco said, glad I got to see you in Casey before the quarantine. And also Naples. <clears throat> Naples, uh, they... Uh, they got to make it to the show, Phoenix. And yeah, then, Phoenix was and then Phoenix it started, and then that was a cutoff. I was like, so let's get And even that one, Atlanta. before you left, remember you were like, do I go? Do I not go? I ended up not going because after we discussed, we were like, okay, we both can't afford to get sick. So if one gets sick, you're staying over there. And you're going to get whatever I get. <laughs> we got it. If, <laughs> if you get it, I got it. What we got? I told my baby go get checked and we see what we got. West Let's Lock going. Yeah. Okay, these are old. Uh, <clears throat> are you going to allow to cut each other's hair? What? What? Are you going to allow to cut each other's hair? Maybe like if I'm going to cut. Well, he doesn't. Oh, know the either. eyelashes? What are you talking about? I'm not sure. Uh, love the blinks, keeping it Pull real. Pull the eyelashes out. I know, but then it pulls out my real eyelashes too, so I can't. These are extensions. Someone said frequency and oxygen. What does that mean? Well, no one knows what that means. No one knows what that means. Oh, the other night we saw Step Brothers, and I'm telling you, it was this quarantine has been feeling like the much needed vacation. But this is un luchador. Oh, con la máscara, sí, a huevo. Are you guys gonna frequency? Uh, cut them all. Out. Pull the eyelashes out. Hit the dab, primo. No, le tengo miedo al dab. That's too much, homie. Ahorita no se puede. Eh, protege los pulmones, homie. <laughs> ¿Qué está haciendo? Protegiendo los pulmones. I think our food is ready. All right, we're about to go grub. So uh, thanks to all of you folks that are. Uh... Oh, they're N95 masks. Yeah. Is those... that what they're called? Oh. oh, there we are. Look, we can see ourselves better. Mm. Uh, so if y'all enjoy us going live and maybe next time we'll put together like an actual show, like have a little bit more stuff to show and tell, um, so on and so forth. Maybe uh, the other night we did dinner with the blings. That was fun. Maybe we can do cooking with the blings. We got cameras. You know, we just want to make sure that uh, you guys are good, and we'll be checking in. So don't forget, hit up the Patreon, subscribe to the YouTubes, and thank you guys for all the love and support. <clears throat> Hot weather will will kill the coronavirus. Okay, look, somebody said you got to watch Contagion. Hey man, not okay. not before bed. I started Not watching cont Containment. Just turn on the news. That shit seems like it's about the same. Peace out, guys. Enjoy your lunch. Thank you. Uh, Y'all are life goals. Oh, Consuelo. Y'all are life goals. <laughs> the Tia Pancha's eyelashes. I know. I know. I'm going to... I'm ready. For, I'm, I'm already ready for all the uh, comments. I'm not going to lie. Because I'm going to start looking crazy. But at least... You're going to get on here like this next babe. time? At least I don't have fillers. I don't have Botox. <laughs> any of those things. Because I feel like that's going to start looking even crazier for Man. people. Don't you think? How many, they're because like, if you're, like, like, how many if you're like this all the time, right? And then it starts to wear off after a while, right? So then you're going to start looking droopy Ooh, or what happens? Man. I don't really know. I probably shouldn't talk about it because I don't really know how those things work. But I ain't going to lie. I am stressing about my eyelashes because I'm going to start looking crazy in a little bit. Blessings so. from Denver. Ah, Somebody said bring Canelo next time. Maybe Theo Juve. Uh, Theo Juve has a TikTok, but he hasn't posted nothing because I don't know if I want to be TikToking this shit right now. Luis Martinez, shout out for from Atlanta. We were supposed to be in Atlanta, but Atlanta was postponed. like today. Yeah, Atlanta was we were supposed, supposed to, be, to be heading out today. We were supposed to be headed to Atlanta today, but all that is a wrap. El Coronel said no, culero. Pues que fue tu hombre. Well, they look dumb when you showed them to me ten minutes ago. Les faltaba? Oh, they look good to me. Hot weather will not kill it though. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, some, huh? Sure. They said appreciate the levity. Made me, made me smile. Thank you, Raúl. At this time, brother, look, man. I'm. Said appreciate the what? The levity, like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Taking, you know. At this time, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nurse. I could just play my role and stay out of y'all's way. You know what I'm saying? We don't know who got it. 
we don't know who got what. And a lot of people still be in confianzos and they want to go be just touching every pull-up bar and touching everything. They running around just touching shit like a little badass kid. Like, yeah, wey, siéntate. Es que hay una gente muy cabezona, wey. Like, unfortunately, some people may suffer and go through some shit. Porque hay una gente bien cabezona, wey. Sometimes them people relate to you. And sometimes you just happen to be around those people. So don't be hard-headed. Stay your ass at the house. Um, cool. All right. Well, I'm going to end it. And stay tuned. Maybe next time we'll do a Q&A. Maybe next time we'll promote it. Maybe next time I'll do a, uh, a concert from the house. You know? I don't know. So. ¿Quién quiere concierto? Yo. Ponte la máscara. I mean, I, I'm a live performer. Like, how do you tell jokes and there ain't nobody there? Have y'all seen some of these, uh, what's that guy's name? Seth Myers. Have y'all seen some of these monologues from these, like, you can really appreciate the writing and the skill now. You get me? Like, you see, um, Seth Myers, man, that shit was painful. Uh, you had Jimmy Kimmel. He's very likable. Um, he has, he's silly. He has fun with it. So he pulls it off. Uh, Fallon. He pulls it off. He's very like authentic. He's himself. He's I love his personality. Is real. Or Kimmel. Now, 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 yeah. Kim, Kim. Will... Right away, Kim will want to start with all the. He want to get into all the politics, man. It's like, oh my god. Uh, but he's talented though, because uh, he was still making me laugh, and I could tell his writers are pretty good, even in a crisis. They're still having to put together a show. So, all right, guys, y'all have a good day, man. Uh, yeah, it's weird watching them without an audience. Uh, hey, Miriam, she's she's on here. We can hit the laugh emoji like on Periscope. Thank you, Miriam. Great idea. That's true. I'm making excuses, right? I, I need to be a performer and stop making excuses. So expect more stuff. Check in with us, and we're going to keep spreading the vibes. Peace. Thank you. People bump, people do, people bump. Nikki called you. Well, she um, called me because she was trying to call you, but you weren't answering. Yeah. I told you before live. All right, let me stop recording this. Stop.